Hey guys, Chris, Iron Head Garage. Well, we back out in the shop, working on this old GMC truck, and uh, well, I put her down on the ground. Yeah, she is low. Look at that stance. It looks pretty cool with a rake. She's up a little bit in the ass end, but uh, I just got everything mocked up on there. Got that bumper setting on the jack stands. About the only thing I had that would hold at the right height. But the bumper needs to go down about another inch. And if I put that engine in there, or when I do, I think that fender lip is probably going to come down to that wheel lip another inch. So she's going to be super low. I am kind of digging this stance it has, but uh, if I do that axle flop and do them two inch lowering shackles, that'll give me seven inches in the rear it'll drop down so she'd be super low then yeah I'm digging this old truck hope you guys are digging it as much as me so everything's just kind of setting on there these old trucks these old GMC's you don't see too many of them you see a lot of 55 Chevy trucks but uh, you hardly don't see any of these GMC's you could make this a 55 Chevy truck no problem uh, it's the same fenders you just have to get a 55 grill and uh, change the hood to a 55 and it would be the same as a 55 truck but yeah I'm digging this old GMC through the Cadillac of the Chevy trucks for sure so I guess I gotta blow it all apart again and uh, put that Pontiac engine in there and let her go down a little more Oh, a month ago or so, you guys remember I was missing this filler panel here. It had a big gap in there, but uh, that's what makes it come together. This was for sale on eBay, and it was all bent to hell across here and twisted, and the ends where it bolts up were all bent, and uh, nobody wanted to bid on it. It's like a holy grail piece. I mean, you could make one probably, but to try to find an old original one, you just don't see them. So I bid on it, and I won it. I knew I could fix it back up. I still got a steel wool it up. A couple little little dings in here that I need to dolly out. But uh, I can see why nobody else wanted it. She was twisted sister, but uh, I got her back into shape. I knew I could. I just got the emblem in there with some of them super magnets. Just trying to get the look. See what she's going to look like. But... I think she's got a killer look, almost like a lowrider truck, but uh, yeah, needs some murals on it and some uh, lace. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll probably keep her all patina for quite a few years, but uh, I guess it's time to blow her apart, have one last look at her. No bones. He's been sitting over here watching drag racing, the lazy bum. Guess he's been uh, hanging out with me too long, but. Yeah, that's funny. There's the old drag racing on. We're watching John Force was on a bit ago, but uh, all right. Well, one last look at her before I tear her apart. Her and her glory. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, I hate to do this, but here we go again. I'll be back. All right. Well. Got her all blown apart again. She even looks low without her nose on. Man. Oh, I got the parts all uh, stacked up over there. Gotta get Bones' ass off that engine. Move some of this uh, metal out of the way and get that cherry picker hooked up to that engine and uh, bring her over here and set her down. See how that cross member is going to work and then motor mounts. All right. Well, we got the engine uh, on the hoist. Come on, Bones. Get that thing over here. Jeez, this guy is slow. Well, why did you let it down for? Come on. You need help? We got to get this engine in. Let's go. Nice. You finally got it over here. Nice work. Well, We'll leave her there for a minute. We got to get them uh, butler engine mounts on there. 
Got to take that old stock one off of there and uh, I believe the other side's off already. Yeah, it is. Might have to go get some bolts though. All right. See if we can get them on there. All right. Well, I got those uh, Butler motor mounts on there on the block. They did come with uh, two, four extra bolts because these take four bolts to hold these uh, mounts on there. Got this side on here. I'm just mocking this block up in there and uh, transmission, making sure everything. I'm gonna be taking this out again. You guys remember that uh, old rotten timing chain cover with all the crud in there? I got this one from my buddy. It's a lot better. He's building the Trans Am Smokey and the Bandit, and he had a 400 rebuilt for it. And uh, this was his extra one. So it's in pretty good shape. The ends not rotten like mine are, and uh, the back's pretty good, pretty decent. Just got to get a seal kit for it. So uh, these motor mounts here, my cross member has a bunch of holes in them, and I believe, hopefully, those two top holes will work, and that bottom hole will work. I'm hoping so. Uh, I don't have to drill some more holes, but I went down and got some uh, bolts for all those right here. Hardware source is crazy prices. 20 bucks for these grade eight bolts. I mean, they're gold, but uh, they're not even 14 karat gold, so a uh, little overpriced for them bolts. They can't cost that down much, but uh, that's what it is. That's what we gotta pay. So. I'm going to scoot this uh, cherry picker forward. We'll let Bones uh, rest up a little while. He got kind of gassed out pushing this thing around. <laughs> so I'm going to push her forward and uh, lower it in there. And uh, we'll see if one of those cross members work. I just got them setting in there so I can slide them around. I got that measurement for the tail shaft so my drive line will work. All right. I'm on it. All right, well, I got it setting in there, sort of. <laughs> I got it up on a couple uh, quarter-inch plates right now. I think the bolt holes might work. But uh, this exhaust manifold clears the cross member, dumps out right here, right behind the cross member. I had to move my chain from the back of the heads to the top of the heads here. The chain kept hitting the firewall on the driver's side right back here you can see it was scuffing it up but uh i took a tap and cleaned that head and i bolted the chain there but on this side i think i got a little bit of trouble you can see where that exhaust manifold dumps out right there so i need a rear dump exhaust manifold passion or a driver's side so I did get these busted loose, these bolts. I was afraid uh, of those uh, breaking. But it'll be good that I get to take these off, this exhaust manifold off, and um, so I can clean them up and paint them anyway and paint the block. And so I need to find me a rear dump driver's side like this one. Oil filter clears, it's back there. It's sitting on the cross member. But uh, I got to get that manifold off because that stud there is hitting the cross member and this ain't going to work anyway. So I'll have to get a rear dump one. I believe my steering will still work because the uh, steering column is going to come up. The light's kind of blinding. The steering column's got to come up anyway for this, uh, this steering rod to work. So we get this manifold off and uh, see if I can get it to sit down in there a little better. All right, well, I got my engine setting at uh, three degrees. Well, I think it's about about four degrees on the protractor. So that's good, my pinion's uh, up three degrees. But I need to go back about another five eighths of an inch. Put my valve cover there, you can see 
is about an eighth of an inch away from my firewall. So I think I'm going to try my drive line and see what it looks like in there. Or I'm going to have to um, cut the firewall, make a little notch right there, and weld it back up to get it going back. I got the motor mount sitting on the cross member on each side. I measured uh, from the center of the crank to the top of the A arms. I have 15 and 5 8 both ways, and from the center of the crank to the outside of the frame, I had 17 and 5 8 So I got the front of the engine uh, centered. I'm a little out of level this way. But my garage is out of level, so I almost need to level this frame up and then uh, so my engine's in there uh, level. Uh, hard to see with the cherry picker in the way, but uh, check this out. One problem solved already. Got an exhaust manifold with a rear dump. Yeah, my buddy who's uh, got a bunch of cars, he's building the Smoking the Bandit Trans Am. He's got a bunch of other cool cars too. Uh, he had this in his uh, parts bin, and he, uh, I got it from him. So super cool. Thanks, Jay. I appreciate it a lot. So uh, I mocked it up in there, and it's going to work just killer. It's got two broken studs in there, so I got to center punch them and drill them out and uh, run my tap in there. One of them goes all the way through, so that one will be easy. The other one, not sure if it goes all the way through inside. No, nope, it bottoms out in here. So that one would be a little bit more trickier to get out, but I got the tap to do that. And my old manifold here. I'm gonna try to get these studs out. If I can, I'll buy some new studs. But uh, one good thing about these nuts here, I believe they're brass. And if you run them brass nuts on your exhaust manifolds, they always come loose. They won't shear these uh, studs off of there. Probably should run brass ones in the into the block through here, but uh, these came out good. So we're we'll try to try my drive line and see how it fits. Or I'm gonna be notching that firewall a little bit. Don't really want to do that, but uh, no big deal. All right back on well I mocked my drive line up in there and uh, I got to go back about five eighths of an inch and uh, you see right there I'm gonna hit my firewall so I think I got to take my motor out and uh, cut my firewall here and build a little recess panel and weld it all up it's too bad I'm gonna scorch up my firewall but uh, it's got to be done if I wanted to build a new drive line could leave the motor right where it's at, but uh, I think I'm going to take this engine back out. I did fix this manifold. I was able to get one stud out of my old manifold. Right there, the other one sheared off, so uh, I just made a stud out of a grade 8 bolt. Cut the head off and uh, ran the tap on it and tapped it. And I put these brass nuts back on. So this manifold's all ready to go. Just needs to be painted up. But here we go again. We're gonna take this engine back out. <laughs> Gotta love hot riding. All right. Four speed. Well, I got the engine back in. Got her centered up in the in the frame there. Crank's nice and centered. I kept measuring off the the heads and the cylinders, and I was getting uh, messed up I was like what the heck's going on but uh, the passenger side head is, is uh, out further than the driver's side head you can tell so that was throwing me off a little bit how it's closer to the a-arm here than the driver's side but I got it figured out I got the motor centered and uh, I did put my exhaust manifold back on there with my uh, my exhaust flange and my pipe and it's going to clear my lower a-arm bracket. I was kind of worried about that. Clears it yeah, about a quarter of an inch. So I got four degrees down on my engine. You can see that the top of my intake manifold is nice and level. It's pretty flat on there. 
So on this firewall here, passenger side clears nice. Here I got about an eighth of an inch. I just put a speed dent in there so I could keep mocking it up. When I take this out, I'll probably have to cut this out and uh, recess a little piece of metal in there. But it don't look too bad now. I put a little bit of black paint on it, but uh, yeah, we might make it a little better than that. But uh, my drive line's gonna work. I got my, uh, my transmission in my cross member bolted down in the same spot that it used to be. So I got three degrees up on my pinion on my rear end and uh, four degrees down on my engine. So the drive line should be good. A lot of guys, when they do these uh, subframes, they have to redo the transmission tunnel in here. But check that out. Since I use my old cross member, my transmission don't uh, set up inside like a lot of them do. They'll have to build a hump transmission tunnel, so that's killer. I was wondering if I was going to have to do that or not, but it uh, fits back on there, so that's killer. So everything's working out pretty good. I gotta mark those lower motor mounts and uh, drill the cross member because none of these original holes worked. I think my motor is back just the, it's about five eighths further than the original ones. So I got me a little baby pencil here to get inside there and uh, make some circles to drill those. But yeah, everything's working out pretty good. Except that firewall right there. That's the only trouble, but she's sitting in there now. She would ride like it is, but uh, I'll do something with that. So, I guess I'll end it here. Got the 1969 U.S. Nationals on. Yeah, the old nostalgists. You gotta love them. The guy's got old magnesium wheels on his slingshot. <laughs> so, we appreciate you guys watching. And, uh, We'll get back on this old girl. I'm going to mark them motor mounts and uh, keep staying with it and get her done. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Appreciate you. Woo! Old fueler.